check out this fish. Welcome back everyone to the Coastal Seafoods Production Kitchen. I'm Kian and today we are gonna have some fun with this. Uh, we are going to give this the whole fish fry treatment because today is whole fish Thursday as you know. We do whole fish discounts every Thursday, 20% off whole fish, including this super beautiful yellowtail snapper. And this one's actually already been scaled and it's still absolutely gorgeous. So you can see just how lovely these fish are. And this is perfect for doing whole fish treatment with, whether you're grilling it or broiling it. Uh, today, I'm just gonna deep fry the whole thing because it's on the smaller side, so it's gonna be perfect for that. Uh, this is gonna be fun. And first thing we gotta do is just sort of start prepping the fish a little bit. So I'm gonna get my burner going with my oil. And when you're dealing with whole fish like this, again, the fishmongers, they'll gill them and they'll uh, scale them for you. So it's pretty easy to deal with. This is basically ready to go. If you want to, you can uh, use a kitchen shears and trim off the excess fins, which I'm not really gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them on for presentation's sake, except for these ones on the side of the fish here. I'll remove those, um, but otherwise I'm gonna leave the tail intact because it just looks cool. It'll make a fun little presentation in the end. So I'm gonna just snip and remove those and we've got our fish. This is basically ready to fry, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna score the fish uh, so that we can get some seasoning into the actual flesh. So just using a knife, I'm gonna cut three slits into each side of the filet, like so. Flip the fish over, three more little slits. Perfect. And we have ourselves a beautiful yellowtail snapper. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask during this time. We always love getting questions from, from viewers. Uh, it's great that everybody's been hanging out with us and watching. Uh, so what I've got here is just some regular all-purpose flour. Uh, you could use rice flour, uh, cornstarch would be good here as well. Um, there's a lot of things you can kind of do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of togarashi seasoning. This is a Japanese spice blend that we carry. And I'm just going to season this flour really well with this. In fact, I'm going to just remove the topper here. And I'm going to season this generously with that. And this will be similar to kind of well, almost uh, some of the stuff that we've done in the past in terms of just doing a simple flour dredge for our fish. That's looking good. Actually, I want some more seasoning in there. So I've got some more togarashi back here somewhere, which I will use for this. There we go. I'm just gonna use some of this. And how you, much you use is kind of up to you. Um, but again, I want a lot of flavor in this fish. We're going for we're going for big and bold here. So I'm gonna to sort of gently toss this and I'm gonna hit it with a little salt as well. Because this is again gonna be kind of the seasoning for our fish. So season up that generously. And again, I'm gonna to toss a bit more here. This is looking good. My flour has kind of a nice little red tint to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my fish in there and coat it nicely. This is looking great. Beautiful. And now what I'm gonna do is test my oil by just dropping a little bit of flour in there. And that's already starting to sear up nicely. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna take my fish Shake off any excess flour, and just like any time we're putting anything in the hot oil, I'm gonna set it in and kind of lay it away for me. This is perfect here. And I'm just gonna let this fish sort of fry and do its thing. Not a whole lot we got to do to it. 
other than just let it cook. And while it cooks, I'm going to go ahead and make us a nice little sauce for this. So I'm cutting board off to the side here. And got my little mixing bowl and some fresh herbs and some red pepper. So this is just some chopped red pepper that I had left over. This would be a great use for some Fresno chilies if you had some uh, of those around. Add a little heat here. Uh, we really want kind of a nice balance of flavors. We want a little sweet, we want a little sour, we want a little spicy. Uh, just sort of the whole deal. So I've got that in there. Next thing I want to do is I've got some shallots that I'm going to mince. Pretty rough chop here. You know, again, you can kind of go as finely as you want. This fish is already smelling outstanding. And if you've never worked with whole fish, it really is the best way to do it. Um, you know, just keeping, it's just like doing chicken. Chicken is always better on the bone. Beef, better on the bone. Pork, better on the bone. Fish is better on the bone. So keeping it whole and intact like this is just an awesome way to do fish. And I know a lot of people are sort of hesitant to do it. But I tell, I tell you, it makes a world of difference. So absolutely be doing this. And you could do this same kind of preparation with a lot of different fish. Uh, if you're frying it, again, you just need to make sure you have a pan big enough to fit the whole fish. All right, got the shallot. I think we're gonna be good here. I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped cilantro to this. Just a touch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at this fish and kind of see how we're doing here. Yeah, we're getting nice and golden brown on that side, which is what we want. Absolutely awesome. It's looking so beautiful. I cannot wait for this to be done. That's the nice thing about whole fish preparation. I know some people are, they don't like to see the head on, they don't, you know, get a little squeamish about it. But again, it really is the best way to cook your fish, is keeping it whole whenever possible. So cilantro in. Let's do a little green onion as well. We've already got some shallot in there, so we don't need a ton. A little rough, rough chop into the into the bowl. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some of my liquid. I'm going to adjust my fish here a little bit too, so that I make sure to get that tail. Just absolutely beautifully golden on this on those fillets there. I'll show you once it's all cooked up and finished. Uh, but to this bowl of herbs, I've got some tomato ponzu. This stuff is great. This makes awesome sauces. Uh, the fish I'm using is a yellowtail snapper. Just absolutely beautiful fish. We get a lot of questions about red snapper here. Um, people love the red snapper, uh, but a lot of people tend to prefer the yellowtails, actually. They got a little bit of a sweeter meat. Uh, so I just added my tomato ponzu, and I'm also gonna add just a little regular tamari, just for a little bit of added salt. Got my spoon. I'm gonna add a little bit of my ginger liquor. You all know I like to do this. Add just a little bit of ginger flavor to that. Uh, freshly grated ginger would be very nice in there as well. And I'm also going to do juice of half a lime. Right into the pot. So what we have here right now is a really nice, kind of herbaceous sauce. We mix up. See, it's nice and chunky. 
a good view here. Oh, it's kind of hard to do with the bowl. You can see nice, chunky sauce. Smells absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna get a little taste, make sure I'm good here. Fantastic. That's so delicious. And it's gonna go beautifully with this fish. Again, we're looking pretty good here. And because I've got those slits, I can kind of see into the meat. The cavity's open, so I can kind of see, you know, it's still a little bit raw in the middle, so I want to let it keep going. And what I actually want to do is grab a spoon, if I can find it. So now what we're going to do, that we're getting kind of near done, is I'm going to take some of this hot oil, and I'm going to spoon it over my fish. This is going to help continue cooking this side, and it's going to help get this skin nice and crispy. And that's what we really are going for here, some really crispy skin. It's actually kind of puffing up a little bit, which is great. So nice. Again, we talk about a lot of frying techniques here on our Facebook Live segments. And anytime you're frying anything, including this fish, you want to make sure to not fill your pan more than halfway with oil because you don't want it to overflow. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. We're just gonna keep kind of basting it with this hot oil here and letting this just cook our fish through. Love this. You can see that skin is just getting nice and crispy. And the meat inside is going to be flaky and juicy and full of flavor. Because again, those bones help to impart flavor into the fish, just like it does with chicken, beef, and pork. It's absolute stunner of a fish. Looking great. You can see that tail meat is getting nice and puffy. It's all golden brown on the edges. Those fins are getting nice and crisp. And absolutely beautiful. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's check our fish again here. See how the other side is doing. Oh yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Check the meat on the inside. We're getting very, very near done here. So I'm just gonna baste this side a bit more as well. And you can see that skin start to, start to tighten as soon as this hot oil that I'm basting hits it. Just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful fish. Again, this yellowtail snapper is so nice. And we have these pretty regularly, uh, almost daily. But again, Thursday is our whole fish special. So if you're looking right now, these are absolutely the top of their game. The other cool thing about these is they're, it's a very sustainable fish that comes to us out of the Florida Keys. So this is actually a domestically caught fish. They're all hook and line caught, one fish at a time, which is exactly what you want when you're trying to get sustainable seafood. Uh, just gorgeous. Okay, so while this kind of finishes it up and does its thing, let's go ahead and start plating. So what I want to do here is I got a nice platter for my fish. And we're gonna kind of just build up some more flavor. I'm gonna make just a little kind of herb salad. So I've got some cilantro here. I'm just gonna go stems and all, because those cilantro stems actually have a lot of flavor. I know you cilantro haters out there are gonna hate this, but don't use it. If you don't like cilantro, use something else. Use basil. Uh, use mint. Mint would be great here. I wish I had some mint for this. Uh, I've got some basil leaves that I'm going to put down on top here. Okay, I just want some nice mixed herbs. It's going to go really well with the fish and with the sauce. And I also want some thinly shaved onion. Now, I like to do this real thin. And the fish and 
some of that hot oil from the fish are going to hit this and kind of wilt some of these herbs and uh, take a little bit of the raw edge off the onion, but it's going to add just a nice, beautiful crispness to it. And just a little bit of sharpness, a little bit more acidity. Again, absolutely beautiful. So our fish is done. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll just a touch more hot oil here. But that looks great. Let me go ahead and turn my pan off. Take this fish. Like so. Kind of let some of that extra oil just sort of drip off of it. And I'm gonna lay it right down on my platter. And I'm gonna sort of finish garnishing in here. Let's do some nice cucumber slices. Again, we want, because we fried this whole thing, we want a lot of fresh flavors to sort of go in there with it to help cut some of that richness of the fish. So we'll go ahead and just add a few cucumber fans around the plates. Like so. Beautiful. And now we're gonna go to our sauce, which I've got here. And I'm gonna spoon a very generous amount over the top of this fish. Again, before I do that though, I'm gonna show you kind of what we're looking at here. So look at that, that is a beautiful whole fried yellowtail snapper. Absolutely beautiful golden brown. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous fish. And as always, I'll post the final photo in the comments thread after this is done so you can see the full plated dish because it's kind of you know hard to, to lift up and show you um, from this angle without spilling the fish all over the place, which I just spent all this time frying this beautiful fish. I definitely don't want to drop it on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and dress this with our beautiful sauce, just like so. Get a generous amount. We'll do a little bit around on some of those herbs. Again, this dressing is going to be for both the fish and the herbs. Just beautiful. I don't know how you wouldn't want to eat this. So now let's garnish with some lime circles, because why not? Oh, I know what else I want to do. All right, got my rounds. I've also got some sriracha peas that I crusted. Everybody's had the wasabi peas. Those are always a fun little snack. We carry those and these sriracha peas. These are great, and this is actually gonna make a really great topping for this fish. Um, if you had like fried onions, like we'll just say French's fried onions, you could top it with this, or like fried shallots you can buy. A lot of times you'll see them in uh, Asian markets or in uh, uh, the kind of international aisles of the grocery store. But this is just going to add a little texture and a little crunch. We've got the crispy skin, but this is also going to add a little bit of heat. It's going to add a little bit of color. This is a beautiful dish. And I've got some lime rounds here. These ones aren't so great. I'm going to cut one more. right on the top, like so. Oh, this looks so good, so, so, so good. And if we wanted for just a little added color, I'm gonna garnish with just a little extra pickled ginger. Again, if you don't like the pickled ginger, you don't have to use it. Uh, I like it for stuff like this. Again, it kind of helps cut through some richness. And it just adds a nice little pop of color on our platter. So there we go. 
we have ourselves a whole fried yellowtail snapper. Tell me you don't want to eat this fish. Look at how just beautiful crispy it is. All those fresh flavors. We got those crunchy sriracha peas that I've crumpled up on top of there. This is just beautiful. I want to eat this whole thing. So gorgeous. I hope you make this. Again, we've got the yellowtail snappers today. Beautiful on special. You can order them online too if you want. Uh, just oh, so good. So, so good. So hopefully you make this. Hopefully you take pictures of it and show me because I always want to see uh, what you got going on. But yeah, thanks again so much for tuning in today. This is always great. We've been having such a good time doing this. We appreciate all of the views and all the comments. Um, I get a lot of messages with questions and things too, uh, but really appreciate it. This has been super fun, and we'll be back tomorrow with something else cool to do. So please keep tuning in. Please keep getting those questions ready. Hit us up. We love it. It's super fun. So I hope you're all staying safe, being well, and take care. We'll be back tomorrow. 